the traffic lights in the Utare Center of Business Center are terribly not working, causing a lot of confusion. The situation is about two to three years old now. The dead traffic lights are causing a lot of road traffic accidents, high risk to pedestrians, and insecurity to innocent primary and high school students. Gunda. I'm a combi driver. I drive from uh, Chikanga town. Uh, my city is the city of Mutare. Then uh, we are having challenges of uh, traffic lights in our town. Some of them are having something like uh, three to four years not working, uh, which is a problem to us, especially drivers, because I, I drive a public vehicle every day uh, from morning to evening. So we meet a lot of challenges such as uh, road accidents, you see pedestrians being hit um, by vehicles pertaining to this problem. So we wish our council or our authorities may uh, do something about that. Here we can see the traffic lights are not working. As a, as a student, I work here every day, but as you can see, the cars are all moving everywhere. You can't even go properly and it cause confusion. So I uh, want to give a complaint to the council so as to improve these traffic lights to wait. In the two Peter Skoke, Dani almost about three years in the center of Anu. My robot at Inaubano Munamin Street, but chicken in and the power cell. And almost about three to two years as the sense. And my exit and waiting up a week. I'm going to three or four, especially Friday. But I'm going to see far away. Just a month is going to go. I'm going to see people watching. I'm going to go. I'm going to see people watching. 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 I'm going to see people Yes, sir. The issue of traffic lights in, in Zimbabwe is a pertinent issue because uh, most of the traffic lights are not working. You know, if you go to in, in the city center there in Gweru, you will find that maybe one or two or even none are working uh, effectively. Yes, uh, sometimes they will be working, but sometimes they won't be working, and this is causing confusion for most motorists and uh, pedestrians. But uh, the situation is even pathetic when you go to a very big city like Harare because you find that uh, there are no these the, 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 the roads are congested you know too much vehicles in the road but then the lights are not working so this issue has contributed to a number of uh, accidents which can be avoided so uh, we appeal to the Minister of Roads to really look into the uh, rehabilitation of the roads because uh, the roads themselves are poor and to add to that uh, the traffic lights are not functional so we are really uh, experiencing and suffering so many so many casualties so as such really uh, the ministry has to do something about it and make sure that uh, this anomaly is actually uh, corrected uh, i have also been to mutare and i have wished i have noticed uh, that uh, the same problem is prevalent there in mutare so maybe this is uh, just a, 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 a reflection that Throughout the country, the issue of uh, uh, traffic lights uh, it really is one that needs uh, uh, immediate uh, attention, and uh, this anomaly needs to be fixed. So yes, uh, that is uh, that is my own experience as I have been in the roads myself, both as a pedestrian and as a motorist. I have been affected uh, quite. Uh, uh, so, what's your perspective towards the vulnerable groups like? children who bought combis and uh, the public look uh, really you know when, when when we talk about we cannot uh, uh, be very successful in uh, maybe discussing about in, uh, in, 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 on it separate separately right uh, but then look uh, children are vulnerable groups and uh, to add to that we also have the blind people and you know the 
physically, you know, um, incapable, you know, uh, individuals who also need maybe, you know, special attention and uh, due to the lack of traffic lights, these people really get to be affected <laughs> even worse. <laughs> Um, I personally think various city councils of Zimbabwe should fix um, the dead traffic lights in the roads because um, these endanger the citizens of our nation. So, what's your perspective on the students, like students, young children who goes to primary and preschool, usually in town? How vulnerable are they? They are very, very vulnerable, especially in a city like Gweru, where you find a few roads with zebra crossing and dead traffic lights. So this actually puts a lot of danger. Yeah. Danger. Okay. So on uh, traffic lights, what's your? Uh, how do you think? Uh, because of these ex jab the coming in of ex jab lot of cars traffics the roads are not yet increasing so there is really really significance of the traf of the traffic lights so what's your perspective on that do to say people the people with cars are in increasing but pedestrians are also increasing and uh, what's your what's your advice to the city council of Peru and city council? Um, my advice to the city council is they should uh, make um, a budget prepare a budget where they just concentrate mainly on on, on on fixing roads. I mean Zinara is there. I think they are they have enough finances to take care of this. So I think they should put it into consideration to actually fix these roads. Because our cars even die themselves. You know, before we even think about people, cars can get into accidents and that's damage to my property just because of a fault caused by negligence of the city council. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Zuzi. You're welcome. Okay, in Kadoma, there are no, uh, there are, there is one traffic light whereby it makes uh, accidents very vulnerable. And, and people, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah, what's that? What do you want to do?